Hey guys, Rick and Duke. Welcome to another episode of Warhog Words of Wisdom. So, before we get started, we're coming to you live from the corner of Fifth and Main, where hopefully we can act as the town squire and get some information out there. I uh, want to thank you guys for giving me your most precious commodity, your time to tune in. It's greatly appreciated. Hey, guys, do us a huge favor. Take five seconds of your time if you would. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hit that subscribe button. Leave us a rating review. That's what's going to help beat this whole AI algorithm. Um, on that AI algorithm, if you guys kind of saw the uh, post I did here recently, Facebook has decided that the NRN of Duco, <clears throat> excuse me, the NRN of Duco loop leash violates their uh, community guidelines because I'm trying to sell firearms or explosives or ammunition. It's like, hey, AI moron, you can't see I'm selling a leash. It's in the title, in honor of Duco loop leash. Uh, for those of you, sorry for my quick quick rant on that one, uh, but you guys can go to warhog.com and pick that one up. Uh, if you guys are new to the show, you're probably going, who's this Duke character you're speaking of? So Duco was my combat assault dog. Saved my life in Afghanistan. I lost him July 5th, 2021 to osteosacoma. So we started the show. Uh, we're going to end it in just a way to keep his memory alive. Do me a huge favor, guys. You go to warhog.com, kellydefense.com. Uh, sign up for those newsletters while you're there. Don't forget, you can pick up your uh, your in of Duco loop leash. Um, and uh, the instructional DVD from Pantheo on concealed carry. Uh, while you're there, check out our industry partners. Check out all the savings. Just save you a boatload of cash. We've got uh, aim point for Warhog 5. That's 5%. Uh, Warfighter Athletic. Uh, OTR 10, that'll save you 10%. Just, uh, brute force just gave us, uh, redid the, um, the coupon code. So now it's OTR 15. So if you had the old one that is no longer vo or no longer valid. So OTR 15 is the new one for brute force, uh, kill cliff. Just go check all those guys out on our industry page. So let's jump into it. Before I tell you the title, let me read you from the constitution of the United States the second amendment and I shall read it verbatim because yes, I do have my copy of the constitution here. Second amendment states a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. It's right there in black and white. No need for interpretation wasn't, you know, the founding fathers didn't mean uh, weapons of war. What do you think they were using back then? They were using weapons of war. So get off your high horse, and we're going to talk about H.R. 1808. If you guys aren't familiar, that is the assault weapons ban of 2022. So let's just back up a minute. And before I get into all that, let's revisit history. Shall we? Here's a novel concept. So if you think back in 94, we tried this whole assault weapons ban thing, and it was proven to do nothing. Absolutely changed zero. So here we are, Nancy Pelosi and the rest of the Dems, as bright as those cats are, all they care about is stealing your money, getting richer and having more power, and oh, by the way, taking your arms away uh, so that you can't defend yourself. But didn't work back in 94, but they somehow think it's going to work now. Hmm. Let's use our case model of the great city of Chicago. Some of the most restrictive gun laws on the books. Murder Central 101. You can go to the Chicago Times online and read all the murders they got going on daily. They're burning each other down left and right. Hmm. Shouldn't be. They've got all these laws. Oh, yeah, that's right. The only people that abide the laws are the law-abiding citizens. Yet, Pelosi and the rest of those morons want to sit there and add more to the books to penalize you and me. So, uh, if you're not familiar, basically H.R. 1808, and I'm going to pull up some more information here and give you some information. So, it passed in the House. Um, if I recollect correctly, trying to see the numbers here, I think it was like... 217 to 
was it 211 or something like that? I don't quote me on the numbers because I don't recollect here. Um, but anyway, long story short, it did pass in the House. Now it needs to go over to the Senate. Um, people are forgetting. Midterms are coming up. Hey, uh, Democratic Party, you're done. You people are going away. But I shall quickly summarize um, off of, and my site being congress.gov, straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, so again, <clears throat> the assault weapons ban of uh, 2022. So what they want to do, this bill makes it a crime to knowingly import, sell, manufacture, transport, transfer, or possess a semi-automatic assault weapon, SAW, as they're calling it, or large capacity feeding device, LCAFD. <laughs> now, when you peruse through this 120-page eight document, and trust me, don't waste your time with it, basically, long story short, is this. All the stuff that was on um, basically the assault weapons ban of 94 is all same culprits are all still right back there, right? Now, what amazes me is, yes, it does cover shotguns as well. A um, couple interesting shotguns on there. Man, the Street Sweeper 12. <laughs> Wish I could find me one of them bad boys, right? Uh, so that was your cylindrical drum one. Um course that's always been on the hit list because that's super evil and then here's a here's another one that always kills me the the uh the spa 12 so if you remember um back in terminator schwarzenegger used one of those so it was a you go to pump action or semi-auto but somehow that's an evil shotgun but i digress right it just has all this rubbish on there uh it goes into what is you know a semi-automatic weapon uh Includes pistols and shotguns as well, because they've got definitions on there and if it meets certain criteria. So I think with shotguns, if it has a pistol grip, um, which, you know, you put one on there. Don't quote me on that. I'd have to go back and look at the, the technical legislation, right? But but at the end of the day, here's the bottom line. Why? So the Dems think that by disarming you, we'll be safer. Hmm. Here's a novel concept. How about we do this? How about we sit there? And, and again, I'm not a fan for big government getting involved. You just hear me out. Uh, let's go shut down these social platforms, right? Because all they're doing is is pumping crap anyway and propaganda. Um, how do we get that in check to start? Huh? That's a novel concept. Um, shockingly, you know, we've got human trafficking out of control. We don't do squat about that. Nobody cares, right? We just want to take your guns. Uh, we've got a southern border that's poor, more porous than Swiss cheese. Man, we don't want to do nothing about that, right? So the very essence, we've got a police shortage. Uh, looks like they're wanting to fund the police, but not really getting on board. And they've done so much damage to law enforcement. It, I don't know that it can be recovered uh, short of getting on the bandwagon and uh, getting some law and order back. But the Dems don't want to do that. So I just say this to my fellow Americans. Here's the bottom line. It's your duty in 2022 to make a wrong right. Vote those individuals in office that are going to represent you. You know, I got to do a shout out to the people of California. And again, I don't know where uh, Representative Linda Sanchez, what district she's out there in, in, um, in California, but man, you people should be appalled. Here is your representative on national TV flipping off the Republican dugout during their baseball game. Wow, that's that's real professionally. Yeah. And I'm guessing the constituents of her district told her to do it. Why else would she be acting like a moron? Because again, these people think they're up there for them. They're not. Those are your elected officials. They're supposed to be your voice. And if they're not doing what you want, that's the beauty with this whole system we have. We get rid of them. Now, granted, the senators, we're stuck with them a little longer, right? So you really got to do some thinking on that because we got them for six years. But every two, you got to turn and burn 
with your representatives. Get him in check. You know, how is Pelosi still in office? I have no idea. California, what are you doing? Who is voting for this woman? She is nothing but toxic poison, and she's just taking money from you. She don't care. She's a millionaire on really a salary that shouldn't warrant you a millionaire. And oh, she'll pass her husband inside her information. So they're getting even more money. Oh, and when he gets his Dewey, he's getting out of it. It's like, come on, man. It doesn't get any more crookeder than that. And that's just one of many. But my point being is we, it's our, it's our right to vote. We should get out there and vote. Uh, you should demand your state requires you to have an ID. I, I try to show mine every time they don't want to see it. I'm like, just humble me. Here, this is me, right? Why don't we want to check the process? Mind boggling, mind boggling. Um, but here we are trying to put more legislation on the books that will just punish you, the law-abiding American. I, I don't understand it. I don't get these people's drives. We've got cell phones. Kids are out texting and driving. Cell phones are killing kids left and right, right? Suicide rates up in kids. And you look at it, oh, Zuck has a, a, a lawsuit, at least one that I know of against him, um, because they know what this crap does to young kids. I'm telling you, if you're a parent, do not give your child a smartphone. Do not let them get on social. I got it. It's peer pressure. Don't do it. For the love of God, don't do it. Do your own personal research and find out what that thing is doing to their brain. Trust me, it is not good for a young developing brain for that rubbish. Shockingly, you see kids nowadays, they can't just think on their own, right? They can't imagine because they need that magic box. Get rid of it. Smash it. Oh, go take your AR-15 and shoot it, huh? But here they are trying to, once again, rip away our very rights. And again, I'm not going to get into the whole, you know, Roe v. Wade thing, but I will say this. Pelosi's sitting there going, oh, we've lost, we've lost constitutional rights. I can't find it. I cannot find it in nowhere in the Constitution of the United States. However, I got the Second Amendment. It's in black and white. And oh, by the way, it's the only amendment that states four powerful words shall not be infringed. Yet these quote unquote representatives are sitting there trying to rip away the very rights that when you look at that flag behind me, those red stripes, that blood that was shed for that very freedom that we have, they want to rip that away from you. Don't let them. And please show them at the midterms, we're turning this thing around. We've got to turn this ship around because we live in the greatest country in the world. We have opportunity to do whatever we want. But you know what? These politicians are digging us a hole that we can't get out of. We've got countries like China and Russia attacking us unbeknownst, right? We know, but we don't do diddly against them. It is, it's our time that we have to step up to the plate. There needs to be, as I dubbed, the reckoning. We need to change the individuals that's up there. We want people that represent us. When these representatives are up there speaking, they should be speaking on their constituents' behalf. Now I got it. If your constituents are saying crazy stuff, it, it's your duty to deliver the mail. Within a left and right limit, right? So obviously, if you're running for political office, hey, here's my values, here's my beliefs, right? This is where I stand on things. And people are going to agree or disagree or whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, not a one of them ever says, my constituents, well, I, I think we need to, no, no, no. It's not about I. Because if you look at, oh, yeah. Right there in the front of the Constitution. There ain't no I. It's we the people. We the people. Or it should be 
my constituents, right? I'd be happy with that as well. Ain't about me or I, it's we, we as Americans. So ladies and gentlemen, my fellow Americans, do me a favor. If you haven't registered to vote, get out there and register to vote. If you're just newly turning 18, go get registered to vote. Trust me, it's one of those things that it, it's a big deal, right? Steps in life. Uh, I remember when I turned 18, I was super excited uh, to be able to vote. Uh, I mean, it was like, boom. Okay, you think about 16, yeah, I get my driver's license. 18, I'm, I'm voting. Cool. 18, I'm buying me a shotgun and a rifle. Oh, yeah, AR-15. How about them apples, huh? Uh, but here they are trying to take that away. So, again, if you're unaware of HR 1808, reach out to your senators. Tell them, call their office, send their emails, and go, do not, do not vote on this bill. And, again, if they go against your wishes, remember that when it's election time and get rid of them. You want people that represent you. So, again, guys. I will just say this in closing. We live in the greatest country in the world, without a doubt. Do we have hard times? Yeah, we do. Do we got politicians that need to get straightened? That we do. But at the end of the day, we've got the opportunity to do whatever we want. On that note, I will say this. Please go to warhog.com. Sign up for our newsletter. Get you all our up-to-date stuff we got going on. Don't forget the in honor of Duco Loop Leash is also on warhog.com. Hit that subscribe button. Leave us a rating review. I don't care if it's a... I'm, I'm going to go with this. American flag, right? Um, that'll tell me, hey, you kind of listen to this episode. and It'll be interesting to see if we get uh, either birthday cakes, thumbs up, American flags, whatever. But just, just something different in the uh, in the reviews there. But anyway, all is going to be good, guys. So just keep your heads up. Thank you for giving me your time. Your most precious commodity on that. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless our troops, and God bless the United States of America. Rick and Duco, out.